Did I miss something? All these relationships, these exes, this toxicity? I'm so glad I'm not in a relationship. Welcome back, y'all. I just dropped a video on Nick and Carlos' interview with Graham's ex-lover. Go check it out now. This video just posted, so I had to react. It's on the Lauren and Steph channel. I have not seen their channel in a minute. I know they have a baby now. That's all I know. I thought they broke up shortly after that, but maybe they got back together and now they're broken up again. I really don't know what's happening, but I gotta watch this video. This video is titled, Finally Telling My Truth About Lauren toxic oh boy okay so are y'all ready to watch because i am let's get it what's up y'all by the title of this video y'all already know what i'm gonna be talking about so i'm just gonna get straight to it please do so i decided to make this video because i'm low-key just like over the situation i'm kind of tired of people asking us the same thing or commenting on my videos dming me like are you and lauren together what really happened between y'all because when we made that video initially when we broke up we really didn't say like why we broke up we kind of just kept it very like you know we grew apart blah 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 so you're ready to we open didn't up really say why and people are still confused yeah. people are still asking if we're together or not because clearly we're still living together ah and yeah okay just... that's where the confusion is that's why i've been seeing thumbnails of them being together in their videos never clicked onto it but I noticed that. So y'all are co-parenting and living under the same roof. Is that what's happening? But y'all ain't in a relationship. Is that right? Be very transparent with you guys because I feel like a lot of the times influencers and YouTubers and stuff like that that are like, you know, in like public relationships, everything's just like so peaches and cream and like people don't really know what really goes down. And it's like at the end of the day, we are human and no relationship is really <laughs> perfect and people go through things people learn from things i know you ain't speaking to me because that's what i'm trying to tell these people i'm a realist okay i don't just watch these videos and think that's exactly what it is i look deeper than that and people get mad at me for pointing shit out this ain't no fairy tale we ain't living in a fairy tale land relationships have their ups and downs shit happens come on girl tell us what happened and yeah so i just want to be transparent um i really don't know how lauren is gonna feel it, like when she sees this video but i don't know i just want to say my piece my truth my side of the story and i just kind of just want to let it go and put it out there and hopefully clarify it for you guys so basically like it was more to it you know it wasn't just like oh we grew apart which it was a it was actually like a big part of it actually while we broke up but it was just more to it than y'all know and i feel like I, I feel like y'all part of our family for the y'all that been here since day one. I feel like y'all deserve an actual explanation as to what happened to Lauren and stuff. Clearly y'all see still that we post videos. We're not very consistent though. Like we post here and there uh -huh. because we are like cool on a co-parenting level. Like okay. we're good co-parents and that's really about it. Which but is great because they are young parents. And a lot of these young parents are children, raising children. And they don't realize how important that is. Like, put your feelings off to the side and make sure you both of you are there for your child. So, good for them. Kudos to, kudos to them for doing that. So, let's see. Initially, we broke up because, like, I don't know, things was just, like, kind of like we were growing apart. I feel like after, you know, spending five years of your life with somebody... Day five years is a long time. Y'all know that we moved to Texas. We have no family out here really don't got any friends like she got like a friend or whatever and i have like a friend but like we don't really see these people often like we're most of the time together 24 7 day in day mm. out we mm. work together live together see like we don't have time to really miss each other if y'all get what i'm saying so i feel like where are you guys originally from because i forgot and what made you guys go to texas with you where you don't know anybody was it the cost of living? What's the situation? They're probably not gonna tell us here, but I have questions. If you guys know the answers, comment below. When you're in a relationship like that, where there's nothing outside of each other, it becomes more of a like roommate type of thing. Like a, you get too comfortable 
there's no effort and i'm gonna say there was no effort really on you lose a spark you gotta spice it up that's why as far as like relationship it sucks because if you don't have anybody there that means you don't have any babysitters uh to watch your child to go and have date night so that's unfortunate that that happened because date nights are very important to keep the relationship going while raising kids i feel like for a relationship to be like successful for like a long-term relationship you constantly have to like go on dates or like be like spontaneous have that okay spark, you know girl. You have got that it. fire like if you're not constantly i feel like doing things to like keep that you know like spark in the relationship it dwindles it dies down and for us i feel like it was super hard because not only do we not know anybody out here outside of each other we also had journey and I that's also very important not just having date nights together to keep the spark going but also having a life outside of that relationship because only relying and depending on each other is not healthy you need to have other relationships and have a social life outside of that once we had her i feel like it became more like we focus on her rather than our relationship. And I feel like that happens in a lot of relationships where Agreed. your relationship, when you have a kid, kind of goes on the back burner and the focus is really on the baby. I felt especially as, like, the um, the person that gave birth, you're not only focused on the baby, you're also going through postpartum, you're going through your own, like, you know, healing, emotional stuff, you're not feeling yourself. So that kind of also takes a toll on the relationship and the other partner because the other partner also could feel neglected. I you like know that. What I'm I like so that. Okay, look at her. How old is she? She's very mature. She really thought things through before making this video. I like that. She's that other partner further away. So I feel like a lot of things kind of contributed to us just kind of growing apart. So we end up getting to a point where we were talking about basically living separately. I was down with it. Like we were okay, maybe we can do our own thing or just like see where things go when we're not like, you know, completely up under each other all the time. Mm -hmm. So we even went to go look at apartments for me. Like we went together to look at apartments. I like I was with it and everything, right? So this is where everything kind of changes because one day uh-oh <laughs> so lawrence just started staying up like later than usual and like i usually be in bed by like 9 30 10 because i'm a person like i'm always tired i don't sleep good at night and journey wakes up hella early so like i'm in bed by 9 30 10 o'clock i'm like i'm ready just to lay right. down right you have a schedule uh -huh. and she would like stay up play her games and then come upstairs right but i started noticing that she was like staying up way later and one day like i kind of wake up in the middle of the night and oh, i shit. noticed that she was up on the phone oh and no and then i kind of like confronted her about it and i was like like you was on the phone with somebody blah blah and she ends up telling me she was on the phone with a girl okay so that kind of like shocked me a little bit because i was like what the fuck like damn like we literally kind of just decided that we're kind of like broken up and like we're gonna see if uh, see i don't like that when my ex-wife and i decided to separate she lived in the house for a couple more months all I asked her to do, because I was, I have no interest in dating anyone right after, but I told her, if you ever date anyone or you're talking to someone, please do it outside of the house or wait till after you move out. It's a respect thing. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know about it. Let's just make sure you save up enough money for you to move out. But it looks like, I don't know if they had this conversation or not. We live separately and we're still clearly living together. Hmm. It's very fresh and y'all already... And you're already talking to somebody. And to me, I was like, damn, like, I'm having kind of the hopes of, like, us spending time apart and living separately would bring us back together. But, like, when I found out that she was talking to somebody, it was, like, kind of like, damn, that hope is not there. Because, like, how are we going to get closer together if you're ch talking to somebody? Y your focus is going to somebody else. Right. Of course, if somebody new or somebody fresh, you're going to feel differently. You feel me? So exactly. I feel like... And it always feels good in the beginning. It always does. That crush, that, that new, those new butterflies coming into your tummy. It's always going to feel better than, than what you had in those five years. Because in those five years, there was a lot of ups and downs. That's what a relationship is. But when you have something that's got none of that, that just started, <laughs> you're going to lean more towards this direction. 
oh boy let's hear it on it or 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 getting closer back together was dead because then you talking to somebody and i feel like it was also disrespectful like we're still living together everything's very fresh like i still have feelings for you i don't know if you still have feelings for me but if you're talking to somebody you might not have no feelings for me so like i just felt very hurt in the moment i felt very like what the fuck a little betrayed even though we like technically wasn't together i kind of felt betrayed like damn you know how girls are like yo you get jealous you get like damn like who the fuck is this bitch like you about to replace me like who the fuck you you feel me that's how i felt so i was like very angry especially when so, you have a child together it's a little even different though i didn't want to i look like i, I low-key didn't want to but i decided to go to florida because my aunt is there i was like we need to like kind of just spend some time apart we need space I didn't want to do it because I felt like that was going to give her an opportunity to be talking to the girl more freely and, you know, kind of do that. So I, I low-key didn't want to, but I feel like I needed to just separate myself from her at that moment. Yeah, that's so. okay. It's actually better that you did do that because you have to let the things play out. Things are going to happen regardless. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you made that move. I end up going to Florida mm -hmm. for like almost two weeks, I felt like. I was, no, not almost two weeks. I don't know how long I was there. Like 10 days, maybe. I don't know. I end up going to Florida, right? And, damn, my phone is just buzzing with notifications. Hold on, y'all. Let me mute this. Yeah, please. I hate that shit. Um, so, I end up going to Florida, right? And I come back. And I come to find out because I'm an op, yo. Like, I, not, not an op. I'm a, like, freaking investigator, right? All y'all so girls I are. I was like, I found out who sh the girl was that she was talking to, right? I found out who she was talking. She was talking to. I was in contact with the girl. Well, anyways, come to find out, when I was in Florida, she had the girl here in Texas in a hotel, or whatever. But all I know is she was here. So as y'all, like I was Wait, already like hurt by the situation. Now this was like the hold on. She flew her out, so she's not even from Texas. So she's so she's spending money on this one. Oh, girl. On the cake, like bruh, you had the girl here. I'm in Florida, like, kind of, like, sad about the situation. You're here <laughs> Damn. doing shit with the girl. I was so pissed, y'all. I was mad. Like, I was just seeing red, completely seeing red. Mm -hmm. So, of course, like, in my nature, I, get, I got very angry. And the first thing that I wanted to do was up and leave. I, pack, I started packing my stuff. And she's like, what are you doing? Where are you going? And I'm like, me and Journey were going. And, like, looking back at the situation, like, kind of, like, going you know taking journey away from her i guess wasn't like it's not right like taking a child away from the other parent because you guys are going through something in a relationship is it never right i don't condone that that's just completely wrong because it really has nothing to do that is with true. the child that's a good and the point the child shouldn't have to suffer because you and the other parent are like at all that's a good point but at the same time it's okay for you to have that space and to be around family during that heartbreak and i'm pretty sure if Lauren can spend money flying this girl out and getting her a hotel. She can spend money taking flights to go visit y'all. Okay? So, don't feel too bad. So, but at the time, I was just seeing so red. I was so hurt. I was like, damn, how the fuck? Like, I feel like I was completely losing her. So, I was just like, I'm out of here. Me and Journey are out of here. I don't care what you got to say. Like, we're going. So, she was kind of like, bro, like, no. Like, just stay, like. I'm not gonna lose my daughter, blah, 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 like, just stay, like, I'll stop talking to the girl, blah, 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 and, you know, whatever, I stayed, and then shit was, like, cool for, like, a while, like, we were just kind of, like, cool on a co-parenting level, it wasn't really more, nothing more than that, like, we wasn't, like, you know, lovey, lovey, nothing, it was, nothing was, like, it was just co-parenting, so that's why y'all would see us, like, make videos here and there, and even then, it was, like, very, like, not... It wasn't consistent. Like, we wasn't really making videos like that. Like, I would get DMs all the time. Like, when's the next video? When's the next video? Like, we wasn't really making videos during that time. Because y'all are going through some like, shit. Some real life shit. It was like, all right, but it wasn't, like, cool in that level of, like, a relationship level. So, like, y'all didn't see much content from us. But the content that y'all did see was more so, like, cool co-parenting, cool doing stuff with Journey, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So, that was cool for a while. And then... She ends up going to the East Coast on a trip. Okay. Well, come to find out. That's where the girl lives? Yeah, this camera is always, like, overheating. Is that where something. the girl lives? I just realized I look like a freaking egg. Y'all look like shit right now. I really don't care, though. But what was I saying? Oh, so she takes a trip to the East Coast, right? And I later come to find out 
that they linked again again so i could only assume what the fuck happened there like i'm not even gonna they probably done did it who the fuck knows i'm only gonna assume that obviously if you link with the girl again y'all finna do something again so lauren isn't doing anything wrong because they're not together it's just a respectful thing so i'm curious to know if you guys had that conversation during this break if this is the time you're taking to just try to figure out if this relationship is good to move f further or to eventually end it. Or are you guys taking this break to explore? You guys should have had that conversation so you're both on the same page. Because apparently Lauren, Lauren thinks she can move on. By that point, I'm just like angry, her over. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck, man? So... I was kind of just like letting the shit go so at one point like we're cool and she like kind of jokes about like a trouble situation because like y'all know before we if y'all OGs y'all know before that we talked about like adding a third to our relationship prior to like have a journey and everything but it just didn't happen but she kind of jokingly said it and That's I started annoying. thinking about it I was like you know maybe like maybe I'll add some spice to the relationship maybe I'll like the girl maybe like I don't know girl, like you dumb as hell you already have a problem with it with them just being a couple and now you're thinking about doing a thruple with them just to keep the bitch oh my god the things women do for their partners that they usually wouldn't what happened it'll be cool so I kind of agree to it and I was like all right whatever let's let's fucking try it oh, let's see no. so we end up, you know, trying it. The girl comes. I meet her, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Like, I just didn't really... Like, it just didn't work out. Like, I just really wasn't that interested in her. Like, she was cool and all, but, like, I was just not feeling her. So, it just no, ended up... No, I need some more information than that. I need details. What does that mean? You guys came together, okay? Did y'all have sex? And it just wasn't working out? Or did y'all just meet up at a coffee shop and had a conversation to see if, the, if you guys are even compatible? Be more specific, please. Working out, so she goes back home, whatever, and like, you know, it 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 was what it was, and I don't know if Lauren really ever stopped talking to her, but we was, I guess, cool for the remainder of the time after that. Co-parenting, the usual. Y'all will see videos of us here and there, but besides that, it honestly really hasn't been more than that. Like, it it's just been what it's been okay um so it's complicated at one point lauren did apologize for like everything that happened prior even like with the girl even her like you know how she started talking to the girl while we still living together why everything's fresh she apologized for everything that happened prior and i low-key felt like you know maybe shit was gonna get better like it was gonna be cool but like it ended up just being the same shit like we still on the same same what just not together okay. just co-parenting relationship right. nothing more than that like, that's okay we've been cool we've been cool though like it hasn't really been like nothing crazy but yeah like i just wanted to tell you how like i really felt this this whole time and what actually really happened and kind of clear the air on where we stand today so mm. it kind of just brings us to today it really is nothing so more. this is just her finally letting the truth out because she's been holding it in and going through it all by herself so it's it's fair as, as being parents to journey just coexisting kind of more like a roommate vibe and yeah i don't know how she's gonna feel about this video <laughs> honestly because she's gonna feel like why did you why would you tell them that shit? it doesn't matter i just feel like i had to get it out there like i wanted just to be transparent and kind of show y'all like Shit ain't, shit ain't peaches and cream. Shit ain't perfect with a relationship. And things happen and people fuck up and people make mistakes. The views will go and, and up and you'll make your money. And it's okay. Shit ain't always going to be, you know, solid. But I don't know. It's kind of frustrating for me because I there's still feelings involved. I don't know how she really feels. But, for but that's me, like, the problem right there. Why don't you know how she really feels? You guys need to have a conversation and talk about these things. Because if she ain't feeling it no more... Girl, you're holding on to something that isn't there. Never really lo lost love for her. I don't know if y'all could like. Some of y'all can see it on camera, and some of y'all can't. Like some of y'all be like, they love each other, or you know, whatever. 
or some of y'all be like, I'll be looking like over or whatever. And the thing is, I do be over, but at the same time, like, this is somebody that I spent five years, six years in February, it'll be six years that we spend that amount of time together. It's six years that you spend with somebody. So it's kind of like, and you feelings have a child. don't just automatically go away. Like, yeah, we grew apart and this and that and the third, and we had our problems, but it's like, feelings don't automatically just go away. I still have kind of a lot of feelings involved and I kind of like still wanted things kind of to work out or like for our, you know, love and spark to be brought back. And that was the whole point. Of and like, to keep your family see together. See what happens. I get it. So it was just kind of like very hurtful and very shocking and very like, what the fuck to me when she's just started talking to somebody like, you know, but I also get like her reasonings and like, obviously like she was checked out emotionally from the relationship and stuff like that. So... I don't know. I don't know. It just brings us to today. Like, we're not together. We're just coexisting, co-parenting, and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah. All right. Well, there's That's the truth. Much That's what happened, it. y'all. In case y'all were curious to know. I don't know. I've been living my life out here. Been paying yeah. no attention till now. The future really holds for us. I really don't because it's everything just been like kind of the same for so long between us. Yeah, and just talk. And it's like you can only go for so long. Talk about y'all like, feelings. Love just kind of like we're proud. Just I don't know, yo. But yeah, that's what it is. So at this point, I'm thinking that Lauren might come out with a video of her own to talk about her side, which is also okay, because I want to hear it. I'm curious. I like to hear the other side. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Peace.